Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this will be my most important one because without this well, very basic knowledge you won't be understanding most of my tutorials. And if you're thinking like oh, he's gonna tell us the secret to all his stuff and in a matter yeah. So what I'm gonna talk about are variables and then you're thinking like variables? Really? This is the magic stuff? Yes it is. Because variables are not just storing uh, information like a string which is a text or a number. And this is very very important because maybe you've seen one of my other tutorials and then those variables look kind of the samey and then they do different things and then you're just confused uh, how does that work, what is this? Well, then this video is definitely for you. I will just skip completely my almost my uh, introduction. So this is one of Indy. Hello. Well, share my stuff. Uh, <laughs> sub if you want. And let's get right into the good stuff. So if you haven't seen all my other videos, this is I guess the most important one. I just wanted to hammer that home because this is super, 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 super important. So so let, let's see like this. You have an object and then you create some stuff. And for example, you have like a variable. Then you will see it has this bluish violet color. You assign it a value, a number or a string. A string is just something like this. A string consists of characters, which are short chars. This is a char, this is a char, char and so on. And you put them together, then you get a string. So you understand the terminology. And then, for example, you can have different kind of variables. For example, this one is a, a variable as well. You just say a var. Then you see it is yellow because after one step, this thing is getting getting discarded. This guy is being stored in the memory indefinitely as long as the uh, object exists. And this guy just for one step and then poof, it is gone. And those guys taking different uh, well, memory places, this for indefinite, or how long the variable, uh, the, the instance is around, this one just for one step. So you understand this. And of course, you have maybe some arrays, which is basically a variable as well. But here you just have more slot points with the same name, slot point. Let's say this is slot point 12, and then you assign it a value. Easy peasy. But then this would be, I don't know, <laughs> my tutorial would be kind of pointless to do because this is just storing some information, which is um, a thing I guess everybody understands. But here, let's say for example, you create a variable, then you assign it not to a number, but let's say to instance create layer. So what is happening here? And this is not just assigning a value, this is assigning a reference. And a reference is something different than a value. A reference is basically like a pointer to a point in the memory where your instance, the object bad, is being stored. And therefore we can, for example, take this reference to it, put a dot in there, and then we can manipulate this newly created instance, the object bad, and give it, I don't know, some depth, I don't know, speed. Let's go for speed because this is, I guess, the easiest one. And then assign it a value of 2. And voila, what you did here, you just have a reference to this newly created object or instance in memory. Then you have the connector, which is this dot here. And then you assign it a variable which is inside. So this is one of the pre-built ones. Of course, maybe it has a one which is, um, let's say, for example, it has HP suite, so we just take and change the HP and then the newly object bad will have an HP of 2. This is how you access stuff which is kind of, well, outside of your direct control, but indirectly you just get the pointer to the memory there and bam, this is how you do it. Or for example, if you do surfaces and then you say surface create, so let's say surface. This is just in the end, just a variable and then uh, surface create. I don't know, let's say 20 by 20. So this is a completely bogus surface, doesn't really matter. 
And what is happening here? Here we are creating a surface and getting the pointer, the reference to that thing. So just basically to make it a little bit more plastic, let's say you have your object and then you just want to have to, to get hold of that one. So you create a variable and then what it is basically doing, it's just saying, all right, let's create a slot in your memory. Memory blue. And then it has some properties and some things which are inside this object, which is being, well, predefined by you. And then you get access to it and then you can control it and manipulate it because maybe this one object, I don't know, this one has a HP pool of, uh, let's say 10, but maybe other one in a different level, which looks kind of the same or looks definitely the same as a different HP pool. And this is how you control instances by reference. So just to hammer that home, and this is how you um, take control of a lot of things which are kind of outside of your control, but here you get control over them by reference. So hopefully that was of interest and value to you. And now you understand what a variable is doing, basically containing some stuff or containing a reference, a pointer, a link to a thing which you, for example, here create. So hopefully that was of interest to you. Have a good one. One up indeed.